Hey guys, I'm back again, and today I want to show you something. Now I'm going to go through the whole process of how to find it, run it, and give you a little idea of what this is like. So what we're doing today is we're trying to find a copy of Red Star OS. The uh, Linux distro that is officially supported by the North Korean government. Goody. So, it's, of course, as you know, North Korea is a very locked down country. They don't want access from the outside world. So, of course, they'd build an operating system around it. Now, they built their own Linux distro. Nothing special. I've done it. Uh, I'll probably do a video on that some other time, but... Uh, today, we're just going to try to find it and run it in a VM. I'm going to walk you through the whole process, and of course, I'll be using Chrome. Because I like Chrome. So the first thing we have to do is, of course, search Red Star OS ISO. Now, once we do this, we can uh, hopefully run it in a VM. Download opening. Uh, so we're gonna click the first site. I think Norton's okay with it, so it's not some North Korean virus, hopefully. Okay, uh, it's a Red Star, it's a 2.5 gigabyte download. So what we're going to do is we're going to save this. Yep, I'm just going to save it to my downloads. Now, we're going to go to a new tab and we're going to do a little research about Red Star OS. So what distro is that red star OS based on hopefully it's like a Debian distro or something uh, yeah. oh it's based on OS X oh gross not only is it North Korean but it's OS X yeah That's gross. If you haven't guessed it already, I don't like Mac OS or Macintosh or whatever. So we're just gonna do a little research here. DC World, okay. Meet Red Star OS, North Korean links just to that apes. <laughs> whatever, I can't pronounce that. Apple's OS X. <laughs> Microsoft Windows operating system developed in the U.S., so it's not surprising North Korea doesn't really trust it. Given the tense relation, hey, I don't care about what you have to say. Ugh, so slow. Uh, being developed. Uh, few available computers in North Korea generally ran Windows. Interestingly enough, the North Korean hackers, which seem to be on the Sony, <laughs> they use Windows PCs for the Sony hack. Well, isn't that great? <laughs> Red flag Linux. How about we just start a series where we check out <laughs> communistic Linux distros? But this is something I heard of a while ago, and I just wanted to do a little research and possibly try it. So I'm just going to do a little, this is research for now. Other countries, this is just... So we'll do red flags. Uh, oh, monitor web behavior of citizens and control information. Okay, so what we're going to do is when we set up the VM, we are not going to give it internet access. Because that would be on an American ID, I, IP, meaning, well, North Korea only has, I believe it was 10,000 IP addresses for their country alone. So if they have an IP address, I mean, there's a list of these IP addresses you can find on the internet. And if they see an American IP address or... 
whatever my proxy or VNP, VPN or whatever it is says I am, it could be a red flag to them. Uh, <laughs> North Korea's Red Star OS feels a bit like a Linux distro from the bizarre world. There is a lot of very recognizable, but it isn't been twisted. It's always f that was familiar. You know, ah, I can't read today. Oh, ad block. Why aren't you working? Uh. Yeah, this is very Mac OS y. Uh. Oh. <laughs> uh, they use the Mozilla Firefox browser renamed Nirade. Which translates to my country if you use access web ports also. Yeah. Okay, so you can't access the outside internet. And that's obvious. <clears throat> uh, I wish I could do jump cuts, but it doesn't appear that I can. I don't know how I'm gonna do this. I don't have any editing software. Well, hold on. Let's try something. We'll see how unprofessional I am. Uh, movie. I might have to do that. Um, happy S U S E. Oh, okay, I think I know what that is. Oh, oh, screw you, CC Cleaner. I, that video is probably here in OS of Doom. Basically, that's one of the Linux sisters I built and made with OpenSUSE. Yes, SUSE. So, what I'm trying to do here is get the Red Star OS. Wait, there's like no pause button here? Oh. Snag it. Got snag it. Oh. So it's one of the two ISOs. One being the OS and the other being, uh, the software. So, uh, we're definitely not giving this web access because it's designed to report and record internet activity. So, what we're going to do is we're going to go configure the uh, VM now. I will be using VirtualBox. I will be not allowing this to shoot air. Post IO catch. I will give it 8 gigabytes internally on the v VDI. Virtual disk image, I believe. So we're going to do red star OS. It says it's based on Mac OS, so we're going to do that. It's going to go 64. It's a Linux distribution, it shouldn't need that much RAM. 20 gigabytes, no. So what we're going to do is run VDI virtual Linux. It's Linux, so it should only need about 8 gigabyte. I said 8 gigabyte. Create. And then we're going to go settings. Make sure at all costs this does not have internet access. Go to network. No, no, no. Uh, no. Okay. We want to boot from the CD first. We do not want... No, no, no. Oh, screw it. 
So for storage, we need to make sure it does not use the host IO catch. Okay. That is not a good thing. We are not going to allow the share to clipboard. Mm. I'm just trying to make this machine as safe as I can so I don't affect my desktop windows or Kali on the bootable partition. So what we're going to do is we're just going to write down that this is a North Korean virus, maybe. Okay. So if we can ever get this to download, we could probably get it to run. So I'm going to stop sharing now, I'll just edit this video to the next one in Movie Maker, then hopefully get some real video editing software.